I am so stoked on this camera right now. Just over a year ago, I was super inspired to start a YouTube channel about what? I don't know. I still don't really know. And to get started, I knew I needed a camera. I already had all kinds of cameras because of my job, but I knew I needed something specifically for YouTube, something that I can use day in, day out, something I could just turn on, hit the record button and have it look pretty good. I got this Canon 80D and I was like, okay, that's it. I already bought the camera. Time to start the YouTube channel. And I'm so glad I did because I love reading these hate comments. I love this 80D and every single one of my YouTube videos till this day has been shot on this ADD. So I've been really happy with it. I looked at the A7S, it doesn't have a front facing monitor. Like right now I can see myself with this camera. I like that. There's the Panasonic GH5, which has a micro four thirds sensor. And I don't really love the color science. I mean, this color science here matches my personal taste a little bit more. The 6D Mark II looked pretty promising, but it's a full frame camera, which is awesome. But then you need full frame lenses and that adds weight and size and price to it. I packed this Thing, I carry it with me all the time. I really like the lightweightness of this ADD. And also I want to not worry about beating it up a little bit. Till now, ADD has been my top choice, but the M50, oh, oh my God, it is so small. Smaller camera and it's mirrorless, so smaller lenses too. Oh my God, this thing is tiny. This is like inception. Like you're looking at this camera, which is looking at your camera, which is looking at this. You guys see that? There's a 4K option there, but we're not really gonna use that one. It was so exciting when they announced it had 4K, but don't plan on using it for vlogs. Only if you're trying to get like cinematic shots or whatever, but 4K again is overrated. It'd be nice, but I care very little about it. I mean, this is the C100 Mark II and I love this camera and it is not a 4K camera. It only shoots HD. HD and 4K is just the size of it, but really you can make HD really, really amazing. It's not the size that counts, it's how you use it. And demonetize. I wanna show you guys how small this, this is so small, I love it. The ADD is a DSLR with a mirror, so I still prefer to use this for taking pictures and stuff, but for a vlogger, I think this might be the go-to camera. I mean, the price is right, the size is convenient. Yes. This is a Xeon Crane V2 gimbal, and I've always wanted to use this with this ADD, but this ADD was just a hair too big. And it was a little bit clumsy on here, but now with this mirrorless camera, it fits like no problem. You bet you're about to see some gimbal shots. I got the ADD here and the M50 right on top of it, and both settings are perfectly matched. 150 shutter at 4.5 ISO at 500. Picture profile on standard, we're recording 1080p at 24 frames per second. And just by looking at it, the M50 looks sharper and more vibrant. We'll have to bring this all into the computer and take a look at it, but dang, I'm excited. Like this looks good. And even if the picture looks very similar, I'll still be stoked because this camera is so much smaller. Ugh. Biggest thing I'm gonna miss, but not really miss is the headphone jack. Sometimes I have to plug in like a lavalier or something and use headphones to monitor, which I can't do anymore with the M50. But now thinking back, like I rarely, rarely use that. Anytime I'm gonna plug in like professional microphones, I'm using something bigger or whatever. This M50 is okay. I almost had a heart attack. In the past, whenever someone asked me what camera should I get for YouTube, I would say either a G7X Mark II. It's a nice, simple point and shoot solution that fits in your pocket. And if you wanna take a step up, go with the ADD because I love the options of a wider lens and I love that you can attach an external microphone and a few other features. But now, if you're strictly doing video like I do, I don't think there's a purpose for this ADD anymore. Now, if you already have like an ADD, I don't necessarily think it's worth selling it and then getting an M50. The main reason why I'm doing it is so that I can travel with it a little bit easier. It's smaller and I can also fit it on the gimbal that I already have. So here's the G7X Mark II, here's the M50, and here's the ADD. You know that I'm gonna spend all weekend testing out this M50, so I want your guys' suggestions on what I should test. The DSLR is great for stills and it's a really fantastic camera, but if you're just looking for video, there's nothing that the ADD has that you can't get on here really. So, so far, yeah, the M50 is awesome.